Hey, what's up, guys? Node Investor here. Quick market recap, see what's going on. Bitcoin continues to pull back. And I just want to give you a quick update on the market. Take a look at some strong alt names I'm seeing. Uh, but first off, I want to apologize for the audio quality on this recording. I'm on the road and I don't have my normal mic in recording equipment. So my apologies, but uh, let's get going. Let's take a look at the charts. Bitcoin is continuing to drop. We have come down about 20%. Let's see. No, maybe not 20 18% from the most recent bounce. And uh, I want to see where we're going to head next, what we're looking at next. But first and foremost, let's look at the cryptocurrency market cap. There was um, somewhat big news yesterday. The market cap dropped and made waves because of some adjustments, excluding Korean exchanges, was over driving the price. And we've done that for some time. Was that the cause for the correction, the pullback we saw you know, I don't, I don't see why that would. I mean, it seems like everybody kind of knew that there was that arbitrage happening already. But nevertheless, we did see some pretty quick pulling back. But it's not the whole story. And you can quickly see going down the list, right? If you've been holding certain altcoins, Ethereum, NEO, Icon, and so forth. And I'll go through the list here. But there are certainly many very strong alt names that are continuing to rally and have more than offset some of the weakness we've seen in Bitcoin. And so that's been the place to be, but it's not across the board. We've had a very strong altcoin rally here in the last couple of weeks. And no doubt we're due for some pausing, some consolidation, but there's still some names that are continuing to pop even today. I'm seeing some breakouts, some good trading opportunities. And so still accumulating the names when they're setting up and, you know, kind of holding as long as Bitcoin maintains certain levels. So let's take a look at what those levels are. So looking at the downside first we've breached the 10 ema on the daily charts and we bounced pretty good we went right to that key support or excuse me the key resistance area at 17.2 or so and quickly just started pulling back now we had that big shakeout yesterday and it looked like it was going to hold some pretty good volume came in in the near term but bounce right into that uh, declining moving average and is pulling back right now the area to watch though is that 50 day moving average which is sitting right at right now you can see we've tested that three times in the last couple of weeks and that's a level we want to see hold if it continues to breach that level we could see a pretty swift correction to the downside that'll take it down again in my opinion probably to that 12 to 12 3 area that we tested a couple of times That'd be another, I don't know, what, 10% from here? Yeah, 9, 10% or so. And so that's the level I'm watching. Um, I would step aside at that point, but I'm still holding the alts and so far have been more than offsetting some of that. And uh, the BTC value has gone up. So for example, Ethereum's the big one that's been the strongest of the big three for sure. And once it broke out above that resistance, it just continued to really have a quick move up. And so that's been a good hold. So looking at Ethereum BTC here, what I want to point out is that key resistance level that we basically paused at, which if you guys remember, I pointed out was two key levels because it was this big floor on the BTC chart that it rallied right up to. And that just happened to correspond with that $1,000 price mark on the Ethereum USD pair. And once we finally, you know, we consolidated and paused, which was very expected to pause and consolidate below that. And once we broke above, it was a very quick 20, 30% to the upside. And you can see we went up 37% versus BTC on the USD pairs, not quite as much because the price of BTC has been pulling in a little bit. But, you know, once we broke above that, we basically went from 1,000 to over 1,200 here pretty quickly. And so there was some volatility yesterday in that shakeout, but recovered very nicely and hands down has been the strongest of the big three now it's had a pretty good run i'd like to see it pause a little bit here but hey you know if you're holding it it's still very good i'm enjoying this ride is more than offsetting some of the the btc downside but it is starting to get a little extended here so just keep an eye on that one looking at litecoin lagging a little bit here litecoin usd Again, just consolidating that daily move. Had a very nice pop with a lot of volume that came in. And just so far, is just kind of fading that move. If we looked a little bit closer. Here's the four-hour chart. You can see we had that big volume move to the upside. And so far, has given it all up. And we're basically right back to that point. See if we can hold here. Now, versus BTC, 
this one's just been sitting tight, kind of going sideways here during that time frame. And so it's basically doing what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin's having a good move, this one goes up and vice versa. But I like the fact that it's sitting tight here. So if Bitcoin can start to recover a little bit, we might see some more upside on Litecoin. And maybe this one starts to outperform a little bit. Some of the other names that have been really holding up, NEO. I know you guys have been watching it. It's been looking very nice, very strong, continues to make new highs on that daily chart. And just looking really strong all around. It's a good hold. $122 NEO right now was as high as 130 earlier. And versus BTC, you can see here just in the last couple of days how strong this move has been once we broke from that consolidation. Up 25%. And on the daily chart here, you can see here just in the last what three, four days, NEO has been up almost 50% versus BTC. So very nice, very strong move. Exciting to see that. Some of the other names I've been watching here and holding, Icon. After it broke out from that little consolidation we had, Icon had a very big run. You can see just above that consolidation, we are now up 73% above that consolidation. Um, Aeon is another one I'm liking here. Just breaking out now of a nice little cup and handle. Go to that four hour chart. You can see this little base it put up here, starting to edge out a little bit. Let's see if we can see some follow through there. Wabi was one I mentioned. And by the way, if you guys missed it, I did send out and I also tweeted uh, my newsletter with my top 2018 HODL coins. And uh, Wabi's one of them. And there's a handful of other names on there. But just looking at this one has had a strong move. Here's the daily chart. Once we broke out of this little base here, you could see we went up as high as 90% on this one. Taking a little bit of a pause, but has been a very strong performer. Very exciting to see that on Wabi. Smaller cap name, so I think it has some room to grow. It's going to stair step its way up, though. It's not going to go straight up. So look for those little dips and those pauses and uh, could offer some good secondary entry points on some of these. Right now, Quantum's starting to base out. Had a big move yesterday on some uh, rumors, some news that it was being pumped, but still had a big volume move, pulling in a little bit, basing out right here, seeing if we can get another leg up to the upside here. Neblio, very strong name, up very big, finally taking a pause, pulling in a little bit, probably some good profit-taking opportunity if you're trading, but if you're holding, I think it's a good long-term hold, but just a huge move. I mean, once it broke out here, look at how quickly it went up, 600% on Neblio in just a couple of days here, so has been one of the big leaders here, one of the winners here in the last couple of days. If you look at that daily chart, um, just just a stellar move to the upside, hundred, hundreds of percents up. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's a mixed bag right now. It depends on the name you're in. Some of the high flyers of recent weeks are pulling in and continuing to pull in right here. So you look at Ripple. Ripple is well off the highs, down 40% and uh, still looking like it wants to go lower. Now it's getting a little in the oversold area near term. So it could start to bounce here. You can see even on the very short term charts, we're starting to bounce but it's pulling in quite a bit. Tron was also pulling in, trying to find a little bit of a bottom bar here. Here's Tron on the daily after that huge move it had. Uh, pretty pretty far off the highs, are already 38%, but it needed that after being up almost 1,000% here in a matter of weeks. So normal consolidation, but we're seeing some of that. So Lumens is another one that is also consolidating. So it's been a little bit of rotation, right? We had these huge moves in some of these names and now they're consolidating, pausing. This one's down 40% from the highs and uh, you're seeing other names like Neblio and Substratum and some of those that are just having a very nice run here. You can see Sub in the last couple of days up 160% pulling in a little bit right now, but just stair stepping its way up. So it's very much a mixed uh, market right now. And I think a lot of that is just some of the uncertainty in Bitcoin. There's some profit taking, we're seeing some rotation happening. Some of the smaller coins are getting the bid right now, but some of the leaders, NEO, uh, we saw Dragon here today, Quantum. And so very good action in some names and uh, not so good in other names. So it just depends on which ones you're holding. It's a good trading market, but I'm also picking up a lot of these smaller names as they base out here for some longer term holds and uh, I've been accumulating some of that. So I think in 2018, we're gonna still see the alts be very strong. Near term, however, Bitcoin, let's take a look again. Bitcoin's continuing to break down. When it bottoms out and has a decent pop to the upside, will it uh, make the alts pull back like they have been in the past? I think so. I think we'll uh, we'll see a little bit of a 
move back into the uh, the BTC side from some of those alts that have just been so strong and uh, have really grown BTC value, you might see some rotation back into Bitcoin once it starts to bottom out here. And so keep an eye on that. It's going to be a little bit of back and forth ebb and flow right now, but uh, all around, I think alts is still the best place to be just because you're getting such strong moves that more than offset some of these pullbacks that we're seeing on the Bitcoin side. So that's how I'm approaching it, but I'm still cautious here, especially with Bitcoin breaking down. Uh, it doesn't hurt to raise some cash on the trading accounts and be uh, available to buy some of those dips when we start to get some of those oversold conditions. But uh, right now, this is the one to watch. I'm watching these levels again on the daily chart, that 50 EMA. Want to see that hold? That's right around that 13.8, 13.7 mark or so. And it could undercut a little bit, but that's a, that's a key level to hold. We've had four red days in a row. So still weak, but I'm watching the, the volume here. I don't want to see one of these big washouts um, undercut some of all that because that'll really shake out the market all around. So it'd be nice to see if it bounced here a little bit. Again, near term on the four hour, starting to hit those oversold levels. So look out for that bounce on the one hour still um, down at 36 RSI. And uh, just the declining trend is still not broken. We're still making that series of lower highs. So that's the level I'm watching. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update on these markets as they progress. Keep you guys posted. Till next time, take care.